when you start a business, you never, I didn't think what, would it, what it would look like 30 years from now. And um, to be witnessing it is pretty darn cool. Amazed, absolutely amazed and grateful that um, an idea grew into such a big deal. I had uh, come up for my girlfriend's 40th birthday party for the weekend. And like we always did when we would come to Door County, we said, oh man, if we could only figure out how to live here. And when I got home, I read an article about a coffee roaster in Madison. A light bulb went off. And this was 92. Uh, so the internet wasn't like it is today. So to do research, I had to go to the library. <laughs> and went and looked in the yellow pages and there was Door County almost everything but no coffee. So we trademarked the name, started doing research and fast forward, here we are today. We uh, started in a very small 3,000 square foot um, old abandoned grocery store and we had one roaster and we were pretty tight with the footprint. And when we realized we couldn't grow the business because we couldn't make and roast more coffee, we said we have to bite the bullet. We had not made one dime, and we went back to the bank and said, oh, by the way, we'd like to build a 10,000 square foot factory restaurant. Uh, can you lend us the money? Hey, my name is Samantha. Uh, I am the cafe manager. There's a lot entailed. It doesn't seem like there is, but there is. We come in every day, we make the coffee, we brew the coffee, we get everything ready, we open up the drive through we do a lot of food order, we do a lot of bakery order, we do a lot of baking, we do a lot of cooking. We just make sure that the cafe is all set up, specials are made, menu boards are done, uh, the bakery case is full, our coffee is ready to go and hot, and just wait for the customers to get in. We do have some surprises coming up. We're going to do a little bit of menu changes this year. Bring some back. We're going to add some new and see where that goes for the year 2023. I actually started over in the retail department as a retail worker, which I absolutely loved. It was a lot of fun. And then I gradually moved over to the cafe side um, to learn the barista and the server piece. And because of my background, it was easy for me to transition there. And I excelled over here and I absolutely loved it because I love working with customers. And um, an opportunity came about for me to become the cafe manager. So I took in everything that I could take in to learn the position and here I am. Uh, my name is Mary. I've been here for seven years. Uh, when I first started working here, I was a barista and a waitress, and I slowly worked my way over into becoming the assistant retail manager. My day-to-day -day mostly consists of making sure that the merchandise is on the floor in inventory properly, pricing, um, ordering foods, and keeping everything organized. My name is Dane Cole. I have worked here for coming up on about a year now as a part-time, close to full-time retail associate here at Door County Coffee. So a typical day for us, um, we make sure that all of our coffees, of course, are stocked every day. Um, we order coffees from our warehouse here to make sure that we can supply our customers with all of the flavors and roasts that they're looking for. Additionally, we make sure our gift area is fully stocked, so usually an associate every morning is assigned to those duties. Once that's completed, we monitor that throughout the day, and uh, of course, customer service is our, our big thing. Greeting every customer that walks in the door, welcoming them. I'm very excited to work here. It's a very positive environment, and I know that that reflects on everyone that I, I meet with daily.
Another thing that I see coming through our display area here are Door County specialty items. People love to come in and have the Door County cherries, jams, jellies, or something as simple as a keychain. I love coming to work every day. I have never, ever worked in an environment that is so positive. Everyone is happy here. Each and every individual is happy to come to work every day. Laughter is a, a big part of, of our day. Uh, I'm honored to work here and be part of the small business. We have a group of people who were instrumental in the beginning who've since retired, which I can't believe. Um, but 30 years, I guess it does make sense. And um, as needed, we add new people to the mix. And we always look for really the best teammates that can enhance the group. Because, you know, it's, it's really a special group of people. And it's their business. It's not my business. It's not our business. It's the entire team's business. There were a lot of other coffee roasters. And if we really wanted to be in the business and to be competitive, we had to be the best. When we found out that there were, there's an exceptional grade called Special Class 1 Arabicas, we set out and said that's all we're going to buy. Period. Plain, simple. Which is really, it's the top 2% of what's grown in the world. My name is Jay Roberts. I've been here for 10 years and I'm the roasting team leader. Uh, day to day I create a schedule um, for the roast masters. Um, I do inventories, I order beans, order flavoring. Patrick Cole, Roastmaster, I've been here for eight and a half years. All right, yeah, I'm Stephen Ford, I've been here for a whole whopping two days, and uh, everything's been great so far, I'm loving it. Ryan Herlash, I've been here for 10 years. I'm Alex Sanchez, I've been here for about three years. All right, Steven. <laughs> Turn some lights on and put some switches and there you go. Pretty much, Pretty right? much it. Yeah. First, we start by having a cup of the world's greatest coffee. Ah. That's what fuels us to roast the world's best coffee. Yeah, the day starts right away at 6 o'clock, getting the pilots turned on, getting the lights turned on, the roasters turned on, everything uh, loaded up and ready to go with uh, green beans that, yeah, start with flavors most days, getting them roasted and ready to go and into these uh, giant tumblers and making great coffee. Yeah, well, well initially the, the beans come in completely raw, uncooked anything, so depending if it's going to be a light roast or dark roast, it's going to be flavored or not, that's going to decide the temperature it's going to get to, and then afterwards, let it cool down, fill it into these cool hoppers here, and then they get transferred into these big baths where they can cook for a little while and they get the flavoring in them, and uh, yeah, just rotate that for a little while until the flavor comes through. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm really trying here, guys. <laughs> Each origin of coffee has their own characteristics and at different temperatures they can put off different flavors and flavor notes, so. Uh, Anywhere between, what, 80? 65 70, and yeah. 80? Roast? Yeah. Yeah. How many pounds? 90 pounds per roast. Yeah. So anywhere in the neighborhood of uh, 6,000 pounds up? Probably closer to seven per day. Well, creating, as fun as it is, it is, it ha definitely has its challenges. Just like I was alluding to earlier, like each origin has its own characteristics and there's a lot of playability with this origin, with that origin, and light roast versus dark roast, so we just want to make the best blends possible. Yeah, it's a little bit of a science experiment, figuring out which beans go with which, at what temperature, and everything like that. Uh, the, the smell of an espresso roast coming out of the roaster, though, is fresh right out of the roaster. It's pretty hard to beat. Alex 
Alex has a really nice singing voice. <laughs> so, Thanks. uh... Stop. Patrick Stop does it. too. Stop it. <laughs> we have yet to hear Steven sing, but I'm sure it's... It's, it's probably really good. It's and, in there. It's angelic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I really like working here. I like the people I work with. Um, we got the best boss you could ask for. He's here every day, compliments us all the time, so I, I love it here, for sure. Maybe it's just a side effect of all the coffee, but the energy level <laughs> here is unbeatable. Yeah. Everybody is all the way up all the time. I've worked for a handful of corporations and nothing beats seeing the owner of the company. The biggest smile on her face every day, saying, hey, how's it going? How's life? Like, nothing tops that so yeah and this is only my second day and i was greeted with huge wide open arms and i've never felt more comfortable walking into a workplace before so i'm i'm loving it absolutely yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now for rick astley dance all right all right <laughs> <laughs> They are a little bit crazy. Um, they're fun, those guys are energetic. Whenever there's a down day, they can really uh, lift spirits for everyone. There were, for 15 years, we only had women on staff. So we fixed equipment, we roasted, we did absolutely everything um, that you see us do today. And as we started to grow other folks, other areas, it made perfect sense to, to get some guys with muscle. Yes, we were all women for 15 years and then as we added men and then we had the opportunity to, to actually be able to pay for Doug Senior to come to work with us. Um, it just really dawned on all of us that we would not be here without everything that he did all these years. We didn't make money for six years, not a dime, not a penny, but he still supported us and still said, yep, yeah, I believe in you. I know we can do this, all systems go. We have different skill sets. It's uh, not we, we don't get in each other's way, so we're able to face um, different parts of the business challenges and and um, come together in the end to make it successful. Sure. It's a little bit of everything. It's basically uh, helping folks as they need help. So I can be anywhere in the business, on a machine, on a computer, outside. You name it, it depends, depends where the issues arise. It was only until we were busting at the seams that we said, okay, let's add on. Let's get more equipment, you know, and of course those investments have certainly paid off. Uh, but to look at it now at 40,000 40, square feet is, you know, it's really great. And we need even more space. <laughs> I'm Barb. I'm the production team lead. My responsibilities are making sure that we have plenty of inventory for every avenue in the business, which include five different avenues and nine different sizes. From the single cup to the full pot to eight and 10 ounce and name drops and 2.25 office coffee supply. Everything that we make is my responsibility to make sure we have it on the shelf for every consumer to purchase. My first jobs were stickering and hand filling every bag, and I was hired as an order filler. Uh, and after the first year, the Matrix machine was utilized, and I was the first full-time machine operator for the 10 ounce. My name is Karen Brower, and I've been with the company for a year and a half, and I am the fulfillment team lead assistant. So in the morning I come in, I check all the orders that are coming through from the online. So look through those, print those, um, help the starters get going with their day, get the racks filled with orders to be filled, and get the crew on their tasks. I like the team mentality. Um, you know, it's neat to see that um, we all work together to make a great product as well as get it out the door to all of our customers all over the country. Our entire department dressed up as Elvis for Halloween, which was a lot of fun and um, silly. Um, you know, things that we do like our potlucks, the Easter egg hunt, dancing with Corey on Wednesdays, um, as well as um, our fun that we have outside of work as a team and, and kind of a work family. So. I'm 
Tammy Clark. I have been here for 17 years and now I hold the position of the team lead in charge of order fulfillment. Well, every day is an adventure. You never quite know what you're going to come into. Um, ultimately, the goal is to fill all the orders and get them shipped and get them out the door. Um, but every day there can be a little interesting things that come up, which, you know, that's why it's always fun because you never quite know what's going to happen. It's fun. It's really, it's fun to see all of those pallets going out and going to grocery, going to Amazon. Seeing every box leave here and knowing that there's a happy customer at the end makes me feel really good. I am Tina Wanning. I have been here almost five years. The growth at Dork Honey Coffee has been the, the most amazing thing from seeing it in the smaller warehouse to how many additions we're on to to heading back to the woods is our next, our next feat. When I started, we were filling orders in what is now the Coffee College. That's, you know, it was very tiny. It was before any of the additions came on. I believe there's been seven additions since I've been here. Almost all of our product was where you'll see where one of the machines is running. That's where we picked all of our orders from when I came, and everybody was astounded at how huge that was. Because of the massive amount of growth in 15 years, I can't even imagine how much bigger and better and grander it's gonna be in another 15, but I'm really excited for that growth and for that ride. That's been an amazing thing to watch and be a part of. You can visually see the expansions, you know, one expansion from the next expansion based on the, you know, the coloration of the floors, you can, you can tell. So I think that's an awesome part of it, is seeing just the growth and it's not, we're not just selling coffee, you know, we're selling the experience. Uh, so seeing that all of those consumers that, that have helped make us who we are and continue to help, help us grow is, is, is kind of the coolest thing about this company. Week to week, maybe one year out, it's hard to think. Yeah. 10 or 15 years out, probably need to expand, um, like outside of just this one roasting room. We're already tight on space, so how that will come about, where we go, that'll be interesting. I guess I leave those questions up to my brother. <laughs> it seems like every five to 10 years, there's something new that's very on trend and catches a world by storm. You know, cold brew five, seven, eight years ago was not a thing and now it's like all anyone can talk about. So I think there's so much product innovation um, within, within the coffee space. It's, it's just a really exciting space to be in and you can do so much with it. Creating products that are unique in the category um, that, that also can, can drive additional revenue streams for us. Because it's not just, you know, no one's just buying ground coffee or holding coffee anymore. You know, they're they're gonna cold brew in a can, they want they want to come to, you know, a local cafe and get lattes or, you know, one of the newest products we're working on is a cold brew shandy, which is a combination of lemonade and cold brew. Yes. Never in my wildest dreams when we started the business did I think that our boys would be full share committed, totally committed to the business, uh, certainly when we started, um, and they wanted to come back. So I'm incredibly proud of them. They're brilliant, you know, and they're so different. Yeah. You know, and their, their differences make for such a blend of, of a talent that's gonna propel us well into the future. It's been a lot of fun being able to uh, see them grow in their business, in the business here, and uh, in their skills. And then having their wives join us is even something I never could imagine and Amanda's our HR and safety um, and she's been here since she was 18 bless her heart went through college um, then got her HR job full-time and Katie Doug's wife joined the firm last year it was very family oriented even before I was part of the family just like with co-workers and everything I just felt like we've always been like a family yeah I love Vicki she's such a great role model I feel like she really has helped kind of bring me out of my shell a little bit and really helped me get into like the HR focus and that kind of thing and me just is really inspiring and she's just always so kind, always has like a smile on her face. I don't think I've ever seen her have a bad day even when it's super crazy but she's always just so happy and bringing everybody together. I love working with my family. I mean they're
they're amazing people, wonderful people. Um, and just, it's been kind of cool to now be in the business after seeing it from the outside. Like as a consumer, before I ever met my husband, I did drink Door County coffee and cause I'm obsessed with the flavors. And um, now I really realize, whoa, this is like, this is a huge business. There's so many parts to it that I never knew about as just a consumer, right? You just see like the front and you're like, oh, this is a cute little coffee shop. They have some cool flavors. And now working here, I'm, you, I see all the moving pieces and there's a lot and it's amazing. I've done everything but uh, actually roast the, the coffee. We're getting in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Terry Zelmer and I have been here 28 and a half years and I work primarily with grocery. I am Erin Hoffman and I am the director of e-commerce here at Dark County Coffee. Uh, the department that I work in oversees really anything that touches the B2C consumer um, online. So the online purchaser, whether it's DoorCountyCoffee.com or Amazon. Um, I have been here 11 years. My favorite thing about working here is the product that we sell. I have worked at other companies always in marketing and promotion and coffee is by far the most fun and exciting thing that I've been able to promote. My name is Beth Gunderson. I have been with the company 23 years, started as a barista, and I am currently the director of food service and wholesale sales. I try to help our cafe with drink trends and try to identify options that are available for um, coffee shops or the food service industry. Hey, my name is Mandy. I've been here just over eight years now. I started in the cafe when I was 15 and I was a barista, waitress, and now I work upstairs, uh, mostly in customer service, um, helping people with online orders and taking orders, and um, accounts payable stuff too. My name is Erin Hackbart. I've been here for almost six years now. Um, I started, I was hired on to be in the food service channel doing sales and then I was moved over to the grocery channel so now I'm the director of grocery. Um, my day is kind of split into two different responsibilities so one being to our distributors, um, the people who are in the stores every single day taking care of Door County Coffee on the shelf, making sure everything looks beautiful, um, making sure we're working with the stores and the managers um, and making sure that those people are equipped with the sales information they need. My other time is split with the retailers directly. So a lot of our local retailers we have ties with because we want to own that relationship. The Wilsons really give you what you need to succeed and they find the things that you're good at and you're successful with and, you're, and they push you to do those and be better. I'm Allie, uh, I have been here for five years. I do our social marketing and our brand communications. I've done a lot of our creative work, things like that, and they saw that that was what I really thrived while doing, so I'm creating the images you see on social media, um, and emails, and Google ads, things like that. Just in general, I feel from the whole Wilson family, uh, it starts with Vicki, and trickles on down the investment in us and in the company. They don't like to see their employees struggle, ever. One of the best parts of, not the day, but always, is the camaraderie with our team. We just always, come together and bring successes to the table, bring struggles to the table. From like the little wins to the small wins, everyone is very much celebrated here and thanked and appreciated. And so I think being part of that, whether it's a big thing or just daily, being thanked for what you do is, um, it makes coming to work every day easier as does a coffee. I think we are limited here only by ambition the culture that we build. Um, I think the Wilsons try so hard and do so well finding the win-win with their employees. You know, they're not compromising and the employees aren't compromising. They're finding a solution that wins for everybody. All the coffee you could drink and all, all the laughs you can handle. And it has been that. We are a big family. You know, seeing people grow as well as well as kind of you know having some interpersonal growth for myself. But seeing you know how far people have have come when they first start here, and you know what they're doing five, ten, fifteen years later, it's it's really quite amazing. I think she's had a huge impact on my life and and how I see the world and how I treat people. Uh, you know, the number one thing that that she's taught us is we believe the customer comes second only to our people because if we take care of our people. Our people care about their job. They, like we said, they bring their A game. 
they will in the end take care of their customers, our customers, all of our customers, and do the best thing every day. So I think that that's a huge impact on how I view the business and how we'll continue to carry on the legacy. Without employees that are positive and good role models in society, what do you have? You no, know, you're not just a number, you're a friend, you're, you know, they're loyal to you and, you know, that makes it, makes it feel comfortable. You know, we have a lot of people that have been here for a long time and, you know, what, what's better than that? It's a dream come true. I love coming to work every day and making a positive impact on, on the world. And if we can do that one cup of coffee at a time, we're going to do it. What do you think you'll be saying at the 50th anniversary? <laughs> I hope I can talk at the 50th anniversary. You know, people say, well, aren't you gonna, gonna slow down? Aren't you gonna, I, I love this. I love the place. I love the people more than even the coffee, which is a really big deal, because I love coffee. Um, and I, I, um, I get jazzed. So um, until they want to push me out, I'm, I'm here to stay.